bring him in. There we go. Coach Val Gunn, the new head coach of the Helvetic Mercenaries. Welcome to the show, Coach. Uh, you, you might, nice might to join you guys. Uh, move the other way. To... Other way. There we go. There we go. Good job, Coach. Better, Silas? That's better. There you go. Good job. Hey, hey, nice to see you guys. Uh, I was talking to Nick just a little bit earlier about uh, catching up on some of the uh, some of the shows uh, that uh, have been going on. You guys, you guys have been really busy. Yeah, we've done a lot. Uh, this is uh, definitely the most, um, I guess, hyped a season in the ELF has ever been. We've never done anything like this, and we've been we've been talking, rambling on for the last what 19 weeks now, Nick. How many episodes have we done? Yeah, wow, it's been 19 shows. Yeah, 19. 19, 19 shows, yeah. and uh, we're ready to get this season started, man. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's been, uh, of course, it's a, a, a whirlwind for me. So, you know, just with everything that's happened with the changing, you know, uh, of all that stuff. So it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Could you, Coach, yeah, me... could you tell us a little bit about that situation um, and kind of how it went down from your perspective uh, were you connected with it while I was still the guards and then how, how everything went down with now being the Helvetic mercenaries and, and your journey on that? Uh, peripherally, uh, Zeki, one of the, I guess was one of the shareholders or someone involved with the guards had originally come down uh, to Istanbul, kind of see the facilities and stuff that we had uh, put together in Istanbul and, and really liked it. And uh, I stayed in contact uh, a bit with them and uh, with Matt and uh, those guys. So yeah, I, it was sort of peripherally and I was watching it. Uh, the Istanbul situation kind of, you know, left a bad taste in my mouth, you know, as hard as I, you know, cause that was just one that I worked so hard and was doing so many jobs for it. So. So, yeah, so it was kind of like I was not really focused on coming back and coaching at all, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, but uh, this has just been a weird year and uh, it was the right time. And, and it was uh, I'm honored and, and thankful, you know, that uh, we're able to to get to spend some time in Switzerland. Coach, um, so you talked about you know, Istanbul leaving a bad taste in your mouth. What uh, are you, do you worry about just a, a lot of lack of infrastructure as you go to Switzerland and just the difficulty that will come with not having all the things that you need? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, you have those concerns and you have to, but you also have to build it from somewhere. And the difference is, is when you have the people in place that it might not be there immediately but you know that down the road you can get there. And, and that comes with individuals that have to be in the right mindset. They have to understand that it's a business, uh, that, this isn't, uh, that this isn't the GFL or, or, or one of these things anymore, right? You, you have to take it seriously. And, and I think the approach, Silas, and I know the situation from last year, uh, but I think that's improved and that, and that part, I have confident that we can get there. Uh, I do feel like we're, even though it's second year in the league, you, you're basically restarting a franchise, right. And going through that. So we're going to, uh, hopefully they can learn from some of those mistakes that they made and then I, they can take the stuff that I went through, uh, in Istanbul and kind of take that and go from there. Yeah. Coach, could you, could you touch on a little bit of maybe what you learned in the experience um, in Istanbul with the Rams situation and kind of the, the wisdom and knowledge you gained from that situation, uh, how you'll, you'll bring that to the mercenaries this year, especially like a team that's kind of, you know, just starting out. Right. I think a lot of that, and you had Zach Blair who played for me uh, there uh, who I love in is Istanbul. And one of the yeah. things is having, it's not a bad thing necessarily to, to have an underdog mentality and going into that. And I think that the, the Swiss guys are going to thrive on that and that that's going to help. And Turkey was the same way. Uh, I think had 
the arrangement's been a little bit different. The potential was through the roof with Istanbul, and even in that starting game against the Centurions, honestly, we should have won that game and, and had some drop passes, and the excitement was there. And then first half of, of several other games, they, they hung right with them. So I think I can, I can take that and under, bring that uh, mentality to them that uh, they're going to play with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. Uh, and and really not back down from anyone uh, as as the season goes along. I, I think the the schedule's favorable at least to start, and then and then you know the back end of that thing is brutal. But uh, I, what we're hoping is that we can build from week to week through the season. Coach, I know that you were. Absolutely. You, you got the opportunity to coach. Uh, you've been in Europe for a while, so that gives me that gives me some confidence. Um, just, I guess, what is your mindset when when things like you know a practice field isn't available and you you guys don't have a place to practice? Like how how do you how do you as a head coach like stay focused on a goal when when basic necessities will sometimes just not be there for your team right so the 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 rule of thumb is that you you worry you worry about what you can control and and that's the stuff that you focus on the stuff that you can't control you you can't worry about that stuff so our our goal is if it ends up being a a parking lot at a supermarket you know we're going to have the best practice in in that and that's not going to be the case but that's that's what you have to do you have to focus on on the positive side of that and maximizing that we're in a better situation this year so we 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 have practice facilities now so that's great silas uh so we have that in fact that's all done and and we're ready to rock and roll with that so i think in some of those things that were not in place are in much better place this year but control what you can Coach. control and don't worry about anything else yeah yeah Coach, you have tons of experience coaching throughout Europe in many different countries so you kind of been around the block in this European football world um, what is your just general opinion on the rise of the European League of Football? Obviously, this will be the, the second team that you're involved with in the ELF. But from your perspective, after being involved in, in European football for so long, what are your thoughts of the ELF as a league? Well, really, third team, Nick, if you think about it, you know, I, you know, Wroclaw, you know, I was the head coach there. So, true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's 2019, so, right? Um, honestly, it's the only reason I would be in Europe. Uh, mm -hmm. at all is because of this league. Um, I really believe in what Patrick and Jelko are, are trying to do and trying to accomplish. And it's a startup league. There's going to be mistakes. There's going to be issues. Uh, it's not, it's not going to, but if you're asking like, if there's any potential whatsoever to have something bigger and better than anything that's ever been out there, this is it. So, and that's what draws me back. I'm excited for, I'm excited for the league. I love it. Uh, I love the, the competition. I think this year, you guys are right. It's deeper than it's ever been. You have better players uh, than it's been. The co look at the coaching staffs. Coaching staffs are great uh, as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's just crazy to see all the talent, both players and coaches that are are flocking to the league. And every single year, it seems to be, getting better and better. Um, I kind of have, Coach, I have a question that's a little bit not so much about football. So, Silas, if you have another football question, go mm -hmm. ahead, and then I'm going to ask you this other one. Yeah, let me ask one more football question. Um, well, for yeah. one, are you already in Switzerland or are you still in the States? So I arrived today. Uh, so it's uh, it's that it was that long travel day yesterday and into today. So. Uh, forcing myself to stay awake so we uh you know not too jet lagged to to go through that and get it ready but yeah no i'm here what city are you guys in living in we're going to be in basel basel okay yeah i love that place um so the i guess the question for me is um have you already met with all the players or is are have you only communicated through like the whatsapp group 
yeah, pretty much through the WhatsApp group, we've had some some meetings. In fact, and later tonight is a defensive meeting going through that. Um, of course, a number of conversations with the import players. So, uh, and some of those guys got the playbook and, and things like that. So that's all that's all going through the process. So quarterback, wide, you know, Carlton's gotten the playbook. Uh, Anthony has gotten the playbook. So, uh, so we're we're getting there on it. Yeah. Well, I'll let you go to ask your question, Nick. Um, I, I have a lot of I have a lot of questions, but uh, <laughs> we we don't need to talk about those on this show right now. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. All right, my, I have a little bit of, of a left field question here, Coach. You are also a, a successful author as well, um, and I'm wondering. Silas and I are, are also guys that have been creative, doing film and YouTube and creative projects, and also being football players. You being a creative person yourself, also being in the football world, um, is there any kind of connection or crossover skills in your opinion from being a, a, a creative writer and then also being a head football coach or is it co totally separate entities for you as kind of just an escape from the football world well part of the yeah the escape is there but one thing in doing that is when you have your imagination stoking you through writing you get that imagination going it, it does transfer over because if you've seen our offense you know, with either the Panthers or, or just them, they'll say, that's not just a lineup, boring go. It's going to be different, and defenses are going to have to understand what they're going to go up against. So I think that the mentality is there from an innovative and creative standpoint on, on both sides. Uh, and I fit better with teams that are like that, that, that are willing to embrace that as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love that. Well, coach, Hey, we appreciate you coming on the show after your big long travel from the States over here to Europe. We know that's a, that's a big day when you're coming from the States and you're trying to stay up and you got some, some meetings later tonight though. Uh, we really appreciate you coming on the show, especially on this day and um, wishing you guys all the best down there in beautiful Switzerland's and great to have you back in the ELF coach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really yeah. appreciate it. Really appreciate it guys. And, and I appreciate what you, what you guys are doing. I, I followed Silas and, and, and you Nick, a lot of, a long time, your YouTube channels and, and everything else. So it's wonderful that you guys are, are really taking a role in this. It's, it's, it's great to see. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank Thanks you so a much, lot, Coach. We appreciate uh, it. And when you when you meet with the guys, tell them that Silas uh, wishes them the best and and uh, misses them a lot. And I'll, I'll hopefully be coming to visit visit your you and your team this year. For sure, that's awesome. You're always welcome. Either one of you. Well, not Thanks, Nick. Coach. He's not. <laughs> All right, Coach. We appreciate it. <laughs> All right. one, one at a time. See you, Coach. Yeah, See time. you, Coach. Small dude. No, he's not a. He's not a. He's not a helvetic guy. There you go. All right, guys. <laughs> Have a great evening. I'm All right. You too. All the best. Bye. Bye.